What is going on, good people? This is Cam with Elevated Lawnscapes, and we are back at it again. Do you have a lawn that looks like this, that's overrun with weeds, undesirable grasses, looking to switch from a warm season lawn to a cool season lawn? Or do you just want to upgrade to a newer variety of your current turf grass that you have in your lawn? I've got the steps you need to take right here in this video to get that desirable lawn. As you see here, there's a decent stand of turf grass here. Most of it is tall fescue that normally looks pretty good. But as you get in closer, you can see that there's a number of grassy weeds and also violets, creeping charlie, and other undesirable weeds that are in this lawn. And I also want to use this as my test plot and upgrade to some newer varieties that I would like to show you guys in upcoming videos. We've got common Bermuda. Common Bermuda is like a weed in a cool season lawn. As you can see here, it is lighter in color and it, it has a finer leaf blade than the rest of my tall fescue that is in this area. Common Bermuda is very hard to eliminate and there is no guarantee that when you do get rid of it, that it will not return in the future. And I definitely believe I got this Bermuda from my neighbor's lawn. So we're gonna get into the steps that it's gonna take for us to renovate this area and get to that lawn that we're looking for. Our first step is going to be to cut the lawn as tall as possible. We want to make sure that for step two, we have plenty of surface area for the product to stick to the leaf blades and to be able to get into the plant for a more effective result. Here I'm cutting at four and a quarter inches. You want to make sure that you're bagging your clippings in this step to be sure that you're removing all the seed heads that are remaining on any weeds. Step two is gonna be for us to apply glyphosate. Glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide, so whatever it comes in contact with, it will kill. So be sure to keep this product away from plants that are in your flower bed or other desired areas of your lawn. Here you can see that I'm using a backpack pump sprayer or you can use a hose end sprayer. Any method that you are used to using or comfortable with that you use to apply a liquid product. I found that it is more effective to apply this product immediately after your cutting. Step three is gonna be about two weeks after we've applied the glyphosate. So as you can see here, the lawn is crispy. We wanna make sure that we cut it down to about one inch. So we're getting that lawn down to, that to a lower level so that we can begin to work with it um, for the renovation. Once again, I am bagging my clippings to be sure that we are removing that extra debris and also removing uh, any seed heads that are remaining on the plant. During this mowing, you wanna make sure that you mow in multiple directions. As you can see, um, I have gone horizontal and vertical uh, for this mow. After mowing the lawn down to one inch, you can now see that we're exposing some greenery that was shaded from the first application of the glyphosate. Remember that lawn was cut at about four and a quarter inches. So now we're down a lot closer to the ground surface. We wanna make sure that in our next step that we are getting good coverage on these areas that are still green. But for the most part, this lawn is crispy. This is the area that was the common Bermuda. As you can see here, there's also still some green left in the plant, so it's not completely dead. We'll take care of that in our next application. Our next step is gonna be to apply our second application of glyphosate. As you can see, we still had some green and living plants out here in this area, even though overall it looks like everything is dead. Make sure you hit those areas that are still green with a little extra glyphosate. Step five 
is going to be for us to cut the lawn down as low as possible, also known as scalping, and then apply the third and final round of glyphosate. Step six is going to be to core aerate or break up the ground. Core aeration is used in overseeding and it is a mechanical method of actually poking holes into the ground to ensure that you're getting good seed to soil contact with the new seed that you're going to be applying. Seed to soil contact is key to get germination from the seeds that you're going to be applying. Here I'm using a rod on aerator. You can also rent smaller walk behind aerators from your local big box store. Step seven is where everything starts to change. And now you're on a downhill slope. Make sure you're applying a quality seed and a starter fertilizer that's higher in phosphorus to stimulate that root growth on these new seeds that you're putting down. I have a link in the description below to a video that I showed the breakdown and the quality seed of my choice that I use. Please go check that video out for more information. In my opinion, step eight is the most important step in this process. You've put in a lot of work to get to this point. Don't get to this step and get lazy and not follow through properly. Be sure that you keep your seeds moist at all times after you've applied them to your soil. This may require you to water multiple times a day, upwards of five times a day. I don't even wanna tell you a time frame. Watch your soil and let your soil tell you when it needs water depending on your temperatures and climate. This is the moment that we've all been waiting for. You've put in a lot of work to get to this point. Get out there, get your first mow in, and enjoy it. Once your grass has reached about two to three inches, you're safe to get out and get your first mow in. Here I'm using a real mower, which is just because it is a lighter, more delicate uh, method of getting that first mow in. This is not a requirement. You can get out and use your rotary mower if that's what you have. Just get on it and get off. Eight weeks after seeding with proper watering and nutrition, you can have a lawn that you will be proud of and your family can enjoy for years to come, in addition to dominating your entire block. That's the end of this video. As I always say, like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate all your support. And tell everybody that you know that's trying to have those immaculate lawns, just know we work it.